But Jed Fish is out here interviewing for this job while he's working your job. And I'm just trying to figure out, listen, I'm all for the grown man going to get his job. I've always fought this part of it. But now it's seeming to be a little bit ridiculous. I, 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 I'm not even going to be mad at a couple of kids trying to enter the portal right now. <laughs> JB, I, I've been trying to tell you, it was the coaches all along who set us on this path. They bogus. They've been doing it. The, we talking about the kids, but it was the coaches sneaking and geeking, tricking and sticking. Come on, man. These dudes ain't loyal. They put the clothes on, but I think it's over two layers of the last school and the last school they was with. These dudes is trifling. And if a kid wants to transfer from offense to defense, (laughs) special teams, it don't even matter, man. The game is messed up, my G. Y'all trifling, J.B. Hey, hey, Y'all people, trifling. People say that. People are telling. So I know for a fact it happened, D. Jones, by the way. I know for 1,000% fact that it happened, A. And B, what is he supposed to come out and say? Yeah, I interviewed. <laughs> but no shit he said he didn't interview. But he did interview. It's a fact. And I got to ask you, Tank, how does this hurt? And you just had signing day. You just had the second signing day. You're building a culture that just was a, a national championship roster. What do you do now when everyone's uh, – how do those players look at you today? Because no. they know the real – how are they looking at you and saying, hold up, dog, you just got our job and now you fucking in Westwood? No. What's going on? He just held a Zoom meeting with all of the UW alumni and – spoke to the UW alumni about how he is determined to build UW back up to where it was. And I'm telling you, man, the whole time he was talking to another girl in our conference, man. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just don't think it's a good look for him. You know, uh, no one's going to take his word for nothing. It, it, it's, it's toilet paper. And, and and that's just the landscape of sports. I think I think the, the quicker we stop being surprised by all of this, I, I think the quicker we'll start to at least uh, have some fun. Uh, it, it, it's comical, right? It's comical uh, how these coaches, you know, they'll fall on a sword uh, in front of the media and be gone doing their thing, man. It's just, it's just what it is. These coaches ain't loyal. At all, my G, at all. I'm loyal to you, Dub. You see, I played there at a time where we was really, we was really like that, and and it was like gladiator school. And uh, you know, I I think that if you really want to kind of stop uh, all of this kind of jumping around, you really got to go and hire some alumni, right? Because an alumni maybe won't want to just jump ship for another school. You might get some some continuity, some camaraderie, and just three four years, man. I've shaken so many coaches. Hand, I mean, DeBoer, before I could even, you know, save his number, he was gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, you know, when they they talk about, you know, oh, you want to come meet this new coach? I'll meet him after his second year. Man, man, that's a good point, though. I mean, you look at Michigan, obviously Harbaugh just left, but he left after bringing them to the highest, to the top of the mountain. You know what I'm saying? He's an alum. He care When you care about the school and it's, it's, it means some more to you, you're not going to just jump ship as soon, as soon as the one opportunity becomes available because it is deeper than, than just the job and the money itself. So that might be maybe Tank needs to go out there and coach a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what your plans are, but maybe that's part of the story. Hey, man, listen, I, I would love to uh, coach at the college level at some point and maybe, you know, bring some stability back up there. You know, I was, you know, on the last Rose Bowl team with Drew. We, we beat Drew Brees. Uh, Purdue. And, you know, was, yeah, Purdue, man. It was a big deal that they had a receiver from up uh, our way in Washington. And, uh, man, it just, damn, dog, that's when college football was dope, man. It was it was regional. It was, there was a lot of pride, and just right now, man, it just it's, it's just like the, what the one and one and done culture did to the NCAA basketball. You know, we're kind of getting our comeuppance in football, man. Like I, I didn't think it would ever be like this, man, but here we are.